Hey, hello, beautiful world. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhD, AM. Solicit. Why solicit? Going back to history on my childhood, the history behind the discovery of Aqua Revitalize. My mother, she underwent throughout her life, about 35 years of her life, from 1964 to 1991, she was suffering with the chronic complications. So she was undergoing surgical operations in her stomach for 35 years. So every two to three years, she has to undergo a surgical uh, operation. So due to that reason, from I was a child, we were all of us, family of eight, split into groups to be raised by our uncles for the reason because our mother cannot take care of us. From among the 10 surgical operations she, she has undergone, seven in Africa and three chemotherapies in the United Kingdom. But that was not enough to prevent, to cure her. And she passed away after suffering with the, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So when she was diagnosed first time, she was sent to UK and uh, to have a chemotherapy, but that was not enough. So it messed up the size again when she came back to Oman after a few months. So she, 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 she is to be brought back again to UK to undergo another chemotherapy. So entirely three chemotherapies she underwent, but that was not enough to protect her, to give her a, any security for to be cured, more just only prolonging her life, that's all, and suffering due to these chemicals and all these drugs she's been taking for 35 years, 35 years. So that is, to me, it is a shock to me. And it is something I could not accept it. I tried to ask myself, what's going wrong? Why she has to be admitted in the hospital? So why the hospital they cannot give us the security to be cured? So from that time, since about 1968, when I was 60 years old to 1970, my dream, my dream as I'm looking to the stars, I never expect that by talking to the stars, the universe will adopt and will respond. So you can say the universe or God, almighty God. But it's, I'm looking there as a child, I'm looking at the star. So I say my wish, when I grow older, I have two wish, two dream. One is to heal my mother, and two is to heal the world without any side effects. But as time passes, I underwent what I believe is the boomerang effect. Boomerang effect, how that happened. I started to have this conferity complex. I can't be in, in front of people and talk to uh, people. I don't trust myself. And that has resulted to me affecting my personality. I became workaholic, and most especially when I work as an engineer, because my, my uh, uh, origin profession was a quantity surveyor, and I joined the Ministry of Housing in Oman, which is a government, and I worked for 23 years. So I turned my paper as my best friend. So as I became workaholic, working for 15 hours, working for 12 hours every single day, including even weekends, including holidays. So imagine that I work twice, 23 hours nonstop just because my boss is happy and I want to be more productive. But that has resulted to me kind of a health complication start to, you know, my immune system start, start to get weak and so on. So I, again, uh, the, the third boomerang effect is I hate pharmacophobia. I fear to take medication. I fear to get sick for the reason connected to my mother. So what happened? As usual, when I started to undergo some allergic, which started, which I consider is the big bang, emotional, psychological big bang. So as usually, usually our body will give us some kind of symptoms that there is a danger, something is going wrong with your body. So what would happen? You will have those symptoms. So usually, when I started to have these symptoms, it, 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 went, it started to move further to become allergic rhinitis. So I was diagnosed with allergic rhinitis, followed by asthma attacks. So I got twice 
as my attack, I fell down to the floor. I lost conscious. Then I was diagnosed with migraine, and then it prolonged to lumbago. So all this, it, it, they took years. And as I've been going to my physician, usually when you go to your physician or doctor, he would prescribe you prescription drug. And we know that the prescription drugs, they do not solve the root cause of the disease more than just only their symptoms. So since they, these are chemical that our body rejects, but what happened is that my situation gets from bad to worse and worse and worse. So this is what happened to me. So I found that I'm dying anyway. So I have to find an alternative solution. From there, the Big Bang really affected me emotionally to find for something different. So everything changed in just in one day. The kitchen analysis. When I did the self-experimentation in August 2007, in, by using dishes with leftover food with some oil deposit on the dishes. So I used experiments of, with the oil deposit. I used cold water, pour on the dishes with the leftover food, some oil deposit. So everybody knows, you know that, everybody knows. When you pour cold water on the food deposit with oil, I mean food with oil de deposit, then it will solidify. So, I said, oh, wow, okay, let me do the opposite. Let me do hot water. So what I did, I boiled the water and I put hot water on another plate, the leftover food with some fat deposit. So everybody knows this. So the plate immediately became completely shining without using detergent, no soap, nothing. So I realized, oh, wow, that's the reason why for, for the past 11 years, I've not been taking any cold water, including my entire family, I convinced them. So when, but when it's because when we found, uh, I read one of the article that cold water, there's been a research that it solidified the fat deposit, slowed down the digestive system, metabolic you know, oil system. So it affects your circulatory system, causing vasoconstriction. So, and it can lead to many complications, hypertension, CVD, okay, I mean, which is cardiovascular diseases, even cancer. So I, by that time, I've not been taking cold water. So I've been taking the water therapy, which is just warm water, the room temperature water. That was not enough to prevent me to get sick or to even treat any of my, my ailment. So from that time, when I discovered the experiment from the dishes in the kitchen, immediately I made that decision. Gloria, my wife, who was as a registered nurse, working in Oman in police hospital, I immediately reported and I told the consultant, Dr. Bhattacharya, my senior consultant, the senior consultant of the police hospital, I reported to him that from today, that time, I am completely boycott to take any medication. I don't trust because what happened to me and what happened to my mother. So it's my own personal decision. I will not go to take any medication. They asked me why. I say, I'm going to start to do hot water. I will be taking hot water. Basically, I explained to him what happened to the kitchen analysis. He was looking at me as worried, but he could not stop me because it's my personal decision. So from that time, from August 2007, every single moment from time to time as time passes, month after month, week after week, and my house is just near the beach. So every time I go play football with my kids in the beach, I feel that the weakness reduced. I feel my strength increased. I feel I'm getting much better. So. Immediately, I, I made the decision to go to have a full medical checkup. So I went to the Royal Oman Police Hospital. I said, Dr. Bhattacharya, this is, I'm coming. He said, did you have any attack? I said, no, I'm coming here for a full checkup, medical checkup. I need a full medical checkup. So immediately when he checked me, he said, okay, we need to undergo a complete medical checkup. We need to take your stool, to, to take your blood, to take everything. Immediately within two weeks, all the entire phys I mean, the medical checkup was released. About 63 checkup, white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, uh, 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 blood sugar, everything, hypertension, everything was showing like I'm newly born. He said, this is the first time in my life to see like this. So we will discuss this, we'll come back to you. So immediately, he, dis he raised the issue to the medical committee. As you could see, the certificate has been signed by the head of medical committee and the senior consultant, the consultant physician, Dr. Bhattacharya. So specifying that, uh, certifying that I have, this is what I, I was diagnosed with all these uh, complications, chronic complications, 
and for the last two years I've not been taking any medication only taking eight glasses of hot water and uh, by this date I was found asymptomatic completely without any side effect completely relieved from all the ailment cured completely with only hot water without taking any medication hot water So to me, it became a big milestone achievement, a, his, a historic uh, success to me. So based on that, I started to study more about holistic, though that my, 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 I was as a county surveyor, engineer, working in the government for 23 years. Then shifting to holistic is something new. So I started to study holistic. I started wanted to know more about holistic. And as we're sharing the experiment, the discovery, we share to other people. We're receiving the anecdotal evidence from other people with hypertension, with the blood sugar, with all. The, so people' life started to improve. So I was, I found that I need to increase by the awareness. So I started to conduct the lectures. So for 13 years till today, I reached to have. 60 international lectures in different countries worldwide. So we reach universities, schools, I mean primary school, high schools, colleges, health organizations, and associations, mosques, churches, and companies. And I started to receive a lot of media uh, interview. And till today, we have already covered in 13 years, 92 media interviews. So is there one other way of spreading the awareness? that covered the TV interview, live TV interviews, newspapers, radio interviews, press releases, and magazines. So, based on that, I decided to go further, to, to join the scientific community, to go in international conferences, different parts of the world to conduct speeches, to be as an organizing committee member, to be as a, So I, I went through all this uh, experimentation of uh, doing speeches, of being a uh, moderator, uh, chairperson of the, one of the session, and uh, chairperson of the, the judge of the poster and so on, poster, poster presentation. So I covered in total eight international conferences in San Diego, California, in Melbourne, Australia, in Manila, Philippines, Kolkata, India, in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Sharjah, United Arab Emirates. So those are the countries that have been, I have covered for the international conferences. So we have done our part. We've done all to the best we could. And uh, we kept on receiving anecdotal evidences. But in addition to that, we assured, we launched it. Uh, we wanted to participate also to, we, because we wrote two books at that time in 2010. So I wanted my books to be in the International Book Fair. So uh, I, my books were displayed in seven International Book Fair in New York, the largest in the world, Frankfurt, in Germany, London, in the United Kingdom, Beijing, China, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, Muscat, Oman, Doha, Qatar. Based on that, till today we have already um, written three books that have been published. So in 2010 by Otho House, The Miracle and Wonders of Treatment for Water, and The Values of Well-Being and Secrets for Better Living, I mean, Motivation Courts. And recently we launched another book, a third book with Otho House, the publisher, Coronavirus, COVID-19, Outbreak, and the Loss of Treasure. So we kept receiving anecdotal evidence from people who have been, have been benefited, the health completely ameliorated. So more than 500 anecdotal evidence we received so far that have covered 57 diseases and health issues, 27 health benefits. So after that, in three years, we received three clinical trials in 2017, 2018, and 2019 that was conducted in a university in Algeria by, uh, supervised by Dr. Zeriza. She is a professor 
in that university teaching a master and PhD students. So she asked permission from me because I helped her to raise her vitamin D at the time. So she wanted to experiment uh, with the, how, the effect of hot water in rats. So she issued three clinical trials and we have all completely all these details of the clinical trials, which is about each one of them about 80 pages. So covered completely many diseases and health complications like uh, cardiovascular diseases, like um, HDL, it shows that uh, HDL has been increased, LDL reduced, uh, and also the weight loss. Uh, I mean, all these many, many complications, it has shown very good result with the hot water effect in rats. So all this that has been achieved, we solicit, we solicit the entire world, U.S. President, world leaders, WHO, FDA, CDC, the NIH, the Oman Sultan, because I'm coming from Oman, GCC leaders, Gulf Cooperation Councils, philanthropists, organizations, investors, notable people, scientists and researchers and the general public with your cooperation, research and institutes, with all of you, corporations, we can do a better world. This is a turning point. This is an evolution that the world is now shifting into a new 21st century healthcare system because, because of free flow of the information. Now, the entire world, people now start to cut down using of drugs, most especially after the recent situation of the pandemic of the COVID-19. So people, because most of the people who are being affected with this uh, pandemic uh, are the people with under medical condition. But people who are healthy, they are not affected. So with that, it's giving, I mean, people to become more, to change, lifestyle change, and to take care of themselves, to take all preventive me uh, measures, to prevent falling sick. Your body has its own innate ability to self-healing, self-maintenance, self-regulation uh, according to tenets of osteopathy. So we call the entire world, we call even pharmaceutical industry. You have been investing each drug, it costs about one billion dollar and it takes about 15 years. If you've been investing all that big amount of money for drugs and this is now an evolution that uh, many things have gone through evolution like the coal industry has collapsed because there's an alternative to energy. The same thing from pharmaceutical industry, the drug industry is now starting to collapse very soon. It's changing, taking, taking a new turn because the world demand of drugs will completely diminish gradually, gradually, year after year. So there will be a huge loss in a, uh, 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 compare also to the cases that being in the court come from many pharmaceutical industry, some drugs people are raising. Uh, I mean, they're suing the pharmaceutical industries for the side effect of the drugs. It's already happening. So this is a shifting of the healthcare system, like Thomas Edison, when he talked about the doctor of the future will not use medicine and so on. So many, many, many known figures and doctors who have been talking about the future of the medicine. So this is the time that we call everybody, we call the entire world, we call all those we mentioned, that with your support, we can do a better world. We can, we can leave a legacy to our world present generation and upcoming generation. This is just a glimpse that we solicit you, any one of you, every body of you, you can do something. You can impact to make a, bigger, a better change. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful day. It's my hot water. It's delicious, wow. delicious.